Say it. What's PNN? What's NLP? Personal. No, what is the neural linguistic programming? Neural linguistic programming. I took many classes in it and I have a master's in NLP in English or PNL en français. <rire> C'est ça la différence entre les deux. Et puis, euh, on discute beaucoup de différents sujets. Et euh, là, j'aimerais bien commencer avec qui était là la semaine passée? Uh, the week before that. I was in here last time. <laughs> the week before that. I want to talk a little bit, do a little bit of a recap for the people that were here last week and the type of work that they've done uh, in the last two weeks. Bianca. I'm doing the recap. <laughs> I think I was, I think breaking the habit of being yourself. Yeah. That was the book that was helping with this book. Well, I think we're going to talk about that after parce que pas tout le monde était inclus dans ça. Mais une chose qu'on voulait faire, c'est on voulait commencer à lire des différents livres qui pourraient nous inspirer à en comprendre un peu plus comment le cerveau y fonctionne. Mais à part euh, le sujet du livre, quoi d'autre est-ce qu'on a fait? How are you? Are you good? Good. Okay. <laughs> um, What else do we talk about, Stephanie? Um, breaking friend bad habits. So. Ooh, <laughs> bad habits. Does anybody have any bad habits here? Huh? Everybody. Everybody's got bad habits. Let's be honest. <laughs> All right, cool. And then what happened, Stephanie? We spoke about bad habits and? Mine was uh, procrastination specifically. Mm -hmm. So now, like, um, every time or I'm more conscious of it so now whenever I have something that I would normally wait or push off or add it to my to-do list I'm doing it like on the spot to just get rid of it and I'm finding that I'm having less moments of like oh, I didn't do this or I had, I had to respond or whatever like less like panic moments and I feel just more clear like more less less uh, I don't know mentally it's better okay We have any procrastinators in the room? <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. So who took a couple of notes on what Stephanie just said? Because she did some massive work in two weeks. Right? What's she, the new habit? She's taking action. She's taking action. Some it sounds really easy, right? So just take action. Yeah, you win. Just do it. <laughs> and we're good to go. Right? But we know very well that there is a struggle that goes on in our minds. I want to, but I don't want to. Should I? I don't want it. I don't feel like it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. The true procrastination. You know what? That is solid procrastination. I'm going to really do it tomorrow. I wouldn't even think about it today. <laughs> That's full on procrastination. Monday. Um, oh, yes. Monday. That's the day. Monday is the day of empowerment. <laughs> right? It's the day we're really going to get things done. Right. Okay. So what if I said true empowerment, true empowerment comes when we start to deeply understand our beliefs. So true empowerment comes when we start understanding our own beliefs. Do we understand our true beliefs? Hmm. It's a lot of words. Right? True empowerment comes down to really looking at our beliefs. Hmm? Looking at them. So, on prend un moment et on regarde à qu'est-ce qu'on croit. C'est un peu vague, hein? C'est très vague. Avec un commentaire comme ça, comment est-ce qu'on peut vraiment savoir qu'est-ce qu'on croit? Puis, comment ça nous impacte? Parce que ça vient de tellement de différentes places. Ça vient de notre culture. Ça vient de nos habitudes. Ça vient de notre expérience. Ça vient à qu'est-ce qui nous valide. Ça vient à qu'est-ce qu'on essaie de ne pas faire. Right? So that's a mix of so much stuff. How do you detangle all of that? Right? Hmm. So what about habits that weaken you? Why would you do a habit that weakens you? 
Any suggestions? Because it feels safe and comfortable. So why would something that is bad for you feel comfortable? Because it requires no effort. Because God forbid we put any effort. Is effort bad? Est-ce que mettre l'effort dans quelque chose, c'est une mauvaise chose? Non? Non, c'est pas. C'est bon mettre des efforts, sauf que c'est challengeant de mettre des efforts. Et c'est. Et, et est-ce est qu'on aime ça, les défis? Non. On n'aime pas ça, les défis. Mais est-ce que les défis, l'autre côté du défi, c'est où est-ce qu'on veut vraiment arriver? Mm -hmm. Oui, hein? Ouais. Mais pourquoi est-ce qu'on ne le fait pas? Fear. Fear. Maybe yeah. fear. What else? Quoi d'autre? Il y a la peur. Les vieilles programmations. Les Bien vieilles sûr. programmations. Bien sûr. Il y a une programmation. Et c'est quoi cette programmation? Alors, we said fear. We said laziness. What else? The brain is wired to protect. It's, yeah, it's a, like human nature. We yeah. program to let's stay comfortable even if it's painful yeah. make sense yeah. does that really make sense guys so how many times have you stayed really comfortable with your pain on, guys let's call it out man on fit to it on fit to it so what's something that's painful for you that you're comfortable with take a second and write it down it could be anything bag of chips at night popcorn <laughs> popcorn is better than chips that's my reframe wine yeah nobody should drink any alcohol ever absolutely <laughs> yes c'est pas vrai ça, de l'alcool. Euh, par jour, c'est pas ça. mauvais. C'est très vrai. Ah, Je ah, ah, comme, comme un comme ça, right, Lucie? Non, un verre. <rire> un verre. Et là, c'est pas un verre comme ça, mais c'est un verre comme ça. Le 8 onces, c'est ça? Non. <rire> 4 onces. Ah. <rire> Les médecins n'en parlent plus, mais c'est vrai. Non, je sais. 14. Oui, oui, je joue avec toi, là. Je m'amuse un peu. Alors, dites-moi, what's the pain you choose to live by? That's in your comfort zone. In your little bubble, there's things that are painful for you. What are they? What are they? Can you write some down? Yeah. Yeah? Who wants to share? I'll, I'll go. Okay. <clears throat> Ice cream. Oh, oh, oh. So sugar. Not quite sugar, because I don't like sugar. Mm. It's sweetness. Sweetness. Mm. Elle a dit vraiment juste la crème glacée. Ah, c'est ça. So ice cream. All right. That's cool. Why is it painful? The consequences. But not good for you. If you have this much ice cream every day, it's not I good don't. for you. I don't have this much, but if you take, let's say you have uh, one ice cream three times a week, four times a week, that's not good either. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So our bodies, our minds, and our soul talk to us. Okay? They talk to us. We choose to listen or not. Right? I'm going to use this analogy. You're on the road, you're on a highway, and you're driving. And all is good. All of a sudden, you start hearing the bumper on the left side. You know, the <laughs> when you're going too much, too much to the left. <laughs> what is that? Is that, trap. Is that your, your, your body? talking to you, or maybe your mind talking to you, or maybe your soul talking to you. And you, instead of listening, you turn up the music, <laughs> right? How many times have you done that? 
Your body's talking to you. Your mind is talking to you. Your intuition's talking to you. All of you is talking to you. But, 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 but you turn up the music. How many of you do that? Come on, let's be honest. Everybody does it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Tout le monde le fait. What if you were to turn down the music and listen to the bumper? Your body's talking to you. Your mind is talking to you. Your person is, is talking to you. And the less you listen, the less it will talk. So tell me, are you hitting the bumper when it comes to anything in your life? And if you are, be honest with yourself and write it down. Don't look at each other's papers. Right? Be honest with yourself. What is it? So our body, our mind, our soul talks to us, right? How does it talk to us? Experiences, feelings, thoughts. Pain. Something's off. You know that feeling when you're like, something's off. Or that feeling of you cheating yourself. Well, we all know what that feels like. And instead of admitting to the fact that we're cheating ourselves, we turn up the music. Forgetting yeah, forgetting about it. Because it's so much easier because we're comfortable and we're lazy and we procrastinate and then and, and. But you hear the bumper. Where are you hearing the bumper right now in your life? Where? In what area of your life are you hearing it? And if you can be very specific, specific with yourself, great, write it down. And if you can't, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Bianca, you had your hand up. Yes, because of what you're saying, I just wanted to elaborate, which is just to be present in that experience that you're having so versus running away. If you're present and you actually live the experience and you make it go through you, that, that emotion will dissipate rather than push it away. Right. Being present and living it, then you can deal with it. So through your, your presence, you have to be aware. Holy oh, shit, I hear the bumper. Turn down the music, man. Exactly. Instead, what we do is we push it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run away. Hey, turn it up a little bit more. So much it's going to, you know, bust my eardrums, but I don't care. Huh? Even when I hit the bumper, it's in. And that's what pain does. Pain is a bumper. What I mean, pain, pain is anywhere in your life. It's giving you a clue. It's talking to you. Hmm. Who's acceptance of that? Of that theory? Who's going to turn down the music and try to listen to themselves a little bit more? I have. The sooner you admit that to yourself and you start noticing these points, the sooner you're going to be able to empower yourself. Be conscious of what your beliefs are. Huh, is this belief helping me or not helping me? Oh, it's not helping me. So why am I holding on to it? Like, like a little bit comme un toutou, tu sais? Quand on était petit, on avait un toutou. C'est notre toutou, on sait notre toutou, on connaît notre toutou, mais éventuellement, on doit dire bye-bye au toutou. Mais c'est parce que ça nous sert plus. Mais pour une raison ou une autre, on garde le toutou. Right? Because we're comfortable with it. You're letting go. But you're letting go of something that no longer serves you. So why you fear the let go? Ah, we're back to comfort. So let's talk about that. What's the difference between pain and discomfort? What's the difference between pain and discomfort? Pain is something you can deal with, that's unbearable for you, so that's not something you want to touch. The pain you need to be over, and the comfort you can tolerate things out of it, you're getting used to it. Huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I want to play with that a little bit. So you're kind of on the edge of the bumpers, but not really totally into the bumpers and into the ditch. Is that a discomfort? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Huh? Not yet? That's where's the, the where, where's the pain? When, when, when you've already touched that. When you've touched it. So right before yeah, that's no, a discomfort. Yeah, touching it isn't. I, I can live with this. But the pain, ooh, not so much. And next thing you know, you're in the ditch. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that fair? 
Yeah, like if you go to the gym and you overweight right. yourself. No, pain is a good thing. Oh. It's an indicator that it's something you cannot go. So with. pain. Like motivated by pain. Okay, but that's that's different. Motivated by pain means your strategy in things is basically you need to move away from things that you fear so you can move forward, right? If you're motivated by pain, it means you fear the pain so much that it drives you so far away from it to accomplish whatever you wanted to accomplish. That's something else. But people would rather be comfortable with their pain than to steer back onto that lane. And steering back onto that lane means maybe it's dis maybe it's uncomfortable if there's discomfort taking that wheel back into your control. And that's discomfort because you're bringing things back into a specific control, if that makes any sense. Don't you think it's really, you can str struggle and kind of get used to it, right? Until something that big and that painful happen then you cannot uh, totally you cannot hold anymore then then you cannot have your choice totally and that that brings me to the next point yes, you can be in real pain in real discomfort totally. until it, for years 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 until something really bad happens yes yes and that's exactly my point how long will you tolerate how long will you keep the music up before you realize that this is so painful for you you've gone off the ditch you've you're broke you're sick. Ça va vraiment pas bien. T'as plus d'amis. Ta famille t'a perdu. When will you decide it's too much pain so that you can re-gear? Because re-gearing that car is discomfort. It is uncomfortable. That's worth every, every single time that you take it. It's worth it. So I ask you, where are you derailing? Where are you derailing? In Stephanie's case, may I? Mm -hmm. Procrastination had become so big for her that it was causing her stress, guilt, feeling like shit, more shit. Uh, <laughs> shit, more shit, all <laughs> types of shit, all types of colors of shit. <laughs> Right, but think about it. You could just decide, hey, I give up. And next thing you know, you've completely given up and you're totally off the ditch. And now you're in the emergency zone, right? But in Stephanie's case, and we're just going to take procrastination because she's done incredible work in two weeks. Every time she wanted to procrastinate, she said, no. What serves me more? Does it serve me more to procrastinate what I really don't want to do? Or should I just do it now? Which one serves me more? Habit number one, which was the old habit. Now nah, let's just procrastinate. I don't care if I'm going to be anxious and I'm going to stress and I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night and I'm going to have to re reaffect all the things that I'm going to do. You know what? I'm comfortable until she was no longer until she couldn't sleep anymore until it was bringing her self-esteem down until and then she's like I'm gonna drop this bad habit like it's hot I'm dropping the mic <laughs> she dropped the mic I no longer play I'm not playing this game anymore so she said you know what every time I need to do something I'm gonna do it when now. now. And what happens when she got it done now? <laughs> it was done. Nothing else happened. And I would now I would go like, oh, did I write back? And I'd be like, oh, shit, I did write back to them. And then I was like surprised. Like, and how did that feel? Really good. I was like, oh wow, okay. And yeah. once that really that really felt good, what did that give you? Just like mental space. Oh, really? Yeah. From the real, from the post. So, yeah. and self-confidence too yes yeah. yeah so now that i package this all nice and dandy will you ever procrastinate ever again yeah that's your choice
But the minute you say three, two, one, go, and you decide to no longer procrastinate, look at everything that happens after you're done the procrastination. Confidence, steam, mental space. Who wants more mental space? Yeah. I think you used one of those words too. You used freedom once, yeah, too. Probably, yeah. 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 What is mental space? Like like Something not less to think about. Yeah. Um, right? You know that? The thoughts going on in your mind? Let's talk about those. <laughs> Anybody have any thoughts that go on in their mind? <laughs> uh, put up your hand if you've got any thoughts that go on in your head. Yes. <laughs> Two hands. Here's my foot. <laughs> if you have thoughts going on in your mind, are they good or are they bad? Uh, both. Oh, that's fair. Good and bad. Both hands up, right? Okay, which one do you have more of? This bad, good, good, bad. Which one is it? Right? So why would you have bad thoughts? Pourquoi est-ce qu'on aurait des pensées qui sont mauvaises? Pourquoi? You know, I heard this one comment once and it, it really got to me. 95% of the pain and struggling you will live. You will, you will live in your mind. Never happens in real life. We are what if machines. What if I step forward and I get hurt? What if my shoe falls? What if my pants, I, I stain my pants? What if I forget? And all of, did any of that shit just happen? None of it. Our minds go there all the time. We are what if machines. Now, what if I were to ask you, could you shift your what ifs from the, oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Oh my God, I'm not going to give this. Oh my God, I'm not going to put in my listing on time. Or oh my God, I'm not going to, and shift it. What if I asked you to do that, shift it? What would be all your positive what ifs? What if I actually do it? What if I actually, you know, what if the actually fine? Oh. <laughs> right? What, if you're, what are your positive what ifs? What if I get the contract? What if, uh, like, I make calls and people say, yes, come see me? Mm -hmm. Hey, shit. What if I call my circle of influence and, you know, Somebody I haven't spoken to in like two years says, hey, come over. It'd be great to see you. I uh, have uh, three investment properties I'd like to be able to sell. We're there. Yeah. I don't. Right? What? What, what, would, what would happen? How, <coughs> how, how would that make you feel? So let's talk about flipping those what ifs. Can we play with that? Can we play with that? We play with that. What if what? Ooh. Yes, we are. Because change is a choice. It doesn't have to be a reaction to life. Things don't have to be so bad before you choose to make a change. Back to the bumper. You don't got to be in the red before you to, to just decide to make a change. You could just not be reactive and make a change. So right now, if we were to change all our what ifs from what if negatives to what if positives, most of you are thinking, but it's not necessary right now. Yeah, sure. It's not necessary. Not necessary. But would it be a good thing? Good thing? Bad thing. Mm -hmm. Good thing? Okay, so I want to do it. Why don't we do it? Because we're stubborn. And I'm going to hold on to it like my tutu. <laughs> right? I'm going to hold on to it like it's my life. Because I'm stubborn. And that defines me. And nothing else matters. How many character type, how many characteristics of self do you have? And you hold on so tightly, tightly, and you say, nothing is going to take this away from me. I'm going to be stubborn, and I'm going to be stubborn forever. 
right? <laughs> You're entertained. <laughs> so is that okay to make a change for choice and not out of being reactive to something? Would that be okay? Better. Better. And where would you do that? Where would you do that? Maybe you do that in your mood. How many people um, live their day based on their mood? Come on, guys. We're all human beings. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. We're human beings. Our mood. Combien de personnes vont pas aller au gym parce que nous filmons? Yeah. Okay. I don't go to the gym. Uh, I don't go to the gym. I just go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, and now, what's keeping you from getting there? Yeah. And then you start saying, oh, when you do that, when you do this, when you do that, the way it crumbles. Yeah. And then you're like, four years now. Fair enough. So has it ever happened to you that someone says something and then it defines everything that you are moving forward? Oh, come on. All of us. Mm -hmm. huh? Your grade three teacher tells you, eh? tes mathématiques, c'est horrible. <laughs> right? We all have it in our minds, guys. Huh? Ta lecture, c'est pas assez fort. Right? Come on, guys. On le tout vécu. But those things, have you chosen that they still define you, right? Because you know what? I'm sure you can find different alternative exercises, right? Maybe not the same way that you did before. I'm sure you'll love something else because doing something is better than doing nothing, right? And you'll fall in love with something else. Do you guys see that reframe? That was a reframe, right? It's not the be all and all just in one direction. There are so many different possibilities in this life, right? So, where does that leave us? We spoke about pain. We spoke about the famous bumpers. We spoke about change as a choice and not reactive to a really bad situation where we have no choice. We've got to change now. And we're so uncomfortable with that change because we just don't know where to start. And we also spoke about the what ifs, changing your what ifs from the negative what ifs to the positive what ifs. Now I'm gonna ask you, how uncomfortable are you right now? Uncomfortable. Feeling in the room, everyone's like. <laughs> it's not supposed to make you uncomfortable. Supposed to make you feel. How are you wired? How would you like it to be wired? And what options have you taken away of yourself? C'est quoi les options que vous avez juste décidé qui n'existaient plus? Toi. Ils sont quoi? Et de savoir que ça existe. Right? Bon. So we're speaking about discomfort. Bringing back that wheel back, right? But uh, it's a little bit of the unknown, right? How do we do that? How do we, as we were talking about with Bianca, you know, change the habit of being ourselves? Oh, I like myself. I kind of do, maybe sometimes I don't, but I'm not sure that I do, but yeah, I'm uncomfortable. Huh. Because it's the unknown. Uh -huh. Fear of, the unknown. fear of the unknown. So step number one is if you decide you want to have a specific change, you know, not be so close to the bumpers and come back a little bit more, is to admit it. Admit more. Admit. Be aware, right? That's always step number one. Step number two, absorbing the knowledge. You may say, I don't know anything about this. And say, okay, let me listen. Let me learn. Let me see what this is. Let me be open to the new way of thinking. 
So absorbing knowledge. And then we're done, right? We don't got to do anything else after that. Right? And then there's a big piece. It's just taking action. And then it's, is it just action once? No. Twice? Three times? Over and over. Consistency. Every single time, consistency wins. Discipline and consistency. Why? Why? Because we're building a habit. Mm, build a habit. And if we don't build a habit, what happens? And we don't do it every day, what happens? Yeah, I forget. Don't blame me, I forgot. I'm human, I forgot. <laughs> we all is it, is it 21 days to create a habit yeah 21 days to create a habit but every single day il faut pas oublier une journée puis si on oublie cette journée là il faut recommencer ils disent aussi qu'il faut pour devenir un expert à n'importe quoi il faut mettre 10 000 heures 10 000 heures. Mais là, le problème, c'est qu'on ne va pas s'asseoir, on ne va pas toutes les compter parce que si on commence à faire ça, tu sais, qu'est-ce qui va arriver? On va se décourager. Alors, on ne va pas faire ça. Right? We're going to put in the time, we're going to put in the energy with a smile and with the best what is attached to that. Right? Alors là, on sait très bien qu'on a besoin d'apprendre quelque chose de nouveau. On a besoin d'appliquer qu'est-ce qui est nouveau. Mais on doit aussi savoir... Comment l'appliquer? Right? Et une fois qu'on sait comment l'appliquer et le pratiquer, it then ends up being knowingness. Right? Bianca used a word that I love before. She said, it came through me. And when something comes through you, it's because it's yours. Right? Just like eating ice cream is yours. Mm -hmm. Right, it's yours. You hold on to it and you love it, right? Mm -hmm. It's that knowingness. So when you want to build a new habit, a new way of being, that's the structure. You get there. Now, where do you want to build that in your life? In what aspect of life? Right, because I just gave you the formula. Now, You may turn around and say, you know, uh, no, I don't know. You know, I, I really, really, really don't know. I think that I'm very impatient human. Okay. And then I ask you, how do you become more patient? One of three things can happen. One, I know exactly how to become more patient. Oh, really? What is it? And you tell me, I need to listen more. I need to stop wanting to be so activated and say, oh, I know everything and everybody else knows nothing. And I need to be able to understand that for me to find more patience, I need to take a step back and let things roll. Huh? Recipe, one, two, three. Option number two is, yeah, You know, people that are impatient, yeah, I'm one of them, and I really don't know how. I don't know how. That's just who I am. It's foggy for me. Sometimes I'm patient, sometimes I'm impatient. Yeah, it's there. Right? It's there. That's why. That's option number two. Option number three is, I really don't know how to become more patient. I just don't know how. Help me. I don't know how. So understand in what you want to be able to change, where are you? Where are you? Because in recipe number one, you could know how, but not ready to apply, right? So in that one, you need to move forward to step number two and say, I may know how, I know the steps. Now I need to move myself into action. 
Number two is, nah, you know, it's somewhere there. Clarity. What do you want? Do you want to be impatient or do you want to be patient? Make a decision. You're in the fog. And number three is, okay, you've admitted it, you're aware, and let's move forward. Sure. So think about it, right? Maybe we use another example. Bianca, give me an example. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. We all have this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I were to tell you, Bianca, that comes back to a reframe. It comes back to the reframe. I'm so excited to go to the gym today because I'm I'm gonna be stronger and stronger. That's a good. That's a good one. I'm write it down. And how important is it for me to be stronger today? How important is it? How important is it for me today to become stronger than I was yesterday? It's very important. So if it's really really important and I really want it, what's standing up in my way? Me myself and I. Okay, so get her to move. Ugh. Right? Ah, get her to move. Move out of the way. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to become stronger. And every single time you go through any one of those reps, you know I am getting stronger and stronger. By every single rep I do, I am getting stronger and stronger. I'm so excited to be stronger today. And tomorrow I'm going to be even stronger. Okay, I don't like to press that. <laughs> what am I objection handling now? <laughs> I'm objecting handling now. That's what happened. I'm a reframing. So we'll go back to the example I was saying before. Do you all have a recipe to prospect? I didn't hear nothing. Nobody say anything. I'm going to ask it again. Huh? <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Who else has got a, an ingredient for the recipe? Knock to doors. Knock on doors. Love that one. People love scripts. Use the scripts. Pardon. Are your list ready? Yeah, yeah. Don't get, don't like literally walk in. I'm going to stumble on myself right away. I just walked in, I'm going to fall right away. And my list is already, you know? What else? Anything else? That's all we need? Okay. Okay, <laughs> the phone, yeah, that'd be good. Like she said. Mindset. Get organized. Okay, so now we have all our ingredients. We're ready to go? No. Why? I don't want to talk to you. Oh, so I understand. So I don't feel like talking to people today. I don't, what's the word? I don't feel. 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 So now your mood controls your life? Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So when that does happen, guys, when your mood controls your life, you must know that you work for your mood and your mood doesn't work for you. Figure that out. Who works for who? <laughs> who works for who? That's right. But today, is that the way it is? No. Decide. Make a decision. Write it down. Who works for who? You work for your mood or your mood works for you? Doesn't it come to almost like self-sabotage too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. I was, yeah. 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 Procrastinating, right? And um, you you know the steps to take. You do them. You do them a couple of times, and then one day you're like, "Oh, I'm tired today," and then you do it again, and then again, and then you fall back in that comfort zone. Then you have to pick up again. But picking up again is hard. Cycle. It's totally a whole cycle. Yeah, absolutely. Your own self. Yeah. Yeah. And you enjoy it. Ah, <laughs> no. So if you keep redoing it, do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
You enjoy it. You enjoy it. So admit it to yourself. I enjoy self-sabotaging myself. Write it down. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Je veux, je veux me reprogrammer positivement pas aller de l'avant. Je ne veux ah, pas ah. écrire ça parce que c'est ce que tu viens de dire, c'est de s'auto-saboter parce que ça programme le cerveau en l'entrant dans la matière. Je ne suis pas d'accord. Oui, et c'est la raison que je l'ai dit. Je voulais voir qui allait prendre le crayon et qui allait commencer à l'écrire. Pourquoi? <rire> parce que your soul on being self-sabotage if you believe you can write that down. Can you actually realize what you're doing? What are you doing? So we asked you, does your mood work for you or you work for your mood? You have to work for your mood. You have, you are in control of your mood, right? I don't feel like going to the gym. Shut up. I'm going to the gym. Yeah. Okay. And then after you could be really happy. Yeah, you always feel better. Huh? You always feel great. Every time you do feel like it and you still do it, guess how you feel? You feel great. <laughs> you feel like shit when you're done at the gym? No. Ah. So your mood gets in your way because it tells you to do something. It, it convinces you to do something you really want to do that you want to do, but don't do because you don't feel like doing it. But then when you end up doing it, you feel great. Make sense? Right. So instead of doing this, let's just go do it. Mood out of the way. Oh, easy. Wow. And that starts with the constant thoughts. Mais si je fais ça, après ça j'ai ça, ça me tente pas ici, mais je vais aller là. This week, what I want you guys to do is think of every time, look at how you think, and every single time you think of I'm at point A and I want to get to point B and you do this. Say, what are all the things I need to remove? Qu'est-ce que j'ai besoin d'enlever de tout mon petit processus pour arriver de A à B? C'est tout. Il y a bien qu'un. Get yourself out of the way. Get yourself out of the way. Get your mood out of the way. Get your... Uh, your thoughts that are going to tell you what if this and what if that and what if this and if this and emotion. Emotion. Yeah, totally. So think of something you've got to do today, like right after this class, something you got to do, right? And then there's a whole bunch of shit that gets in the way, <laughs> right? Okay, you, you see it in your mind? Everybody has it? Okay, what is all the shit you can remove out of your way? Okay, what's the number of things you're able to just remove right now, just thinking about it? How many? How many? Three? Just one, your thoughts. But what are the things? Like, think of what you need to do from, I don't know, who needs to go pick up children? Oh. Who needs to go to a listing presentation, but they're worrying about how much traffic there's going to be. So, exactly. and then... There's gonna be so much traffic and oh my God, I have to write the CMA and what if I forget that I got all the this and, okay, so all of those, remove, 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 A, B, go. <laughs> but we don't even see how, how, how deep something like just do it is, right? How many things can you simplify for yourself this week? Mm -hmm. A great. lot. A lot. <laughs> when we do that, simplify. Organize. Huh? Organize ourselves. Put priorities. Yeah. Yeah. And reinforce and do more of what we want to become. I think of that every day. Who do I want to become? Let's do more of that today. You get the privilege to be. Yeah. Yeah. I have the privilege of being. And tomorrow I get to choose who I want to become. So let's just do it. 
Yeah. Right? So I don't want to get into quantum physics because it's a 147 and I'm not going to do that. Okay. But what I am going to say is that in quantum physics, it says that you can only see whatever you see through your own eyes. It's called the observer effect. Right? We can only observe through the eyes we have. So what are your eyes? I could show you a video right now and all of you would see something different. Why? Because you all see it with your own eyes. And what if all those eyes were to see something different after being brought different types of programs into your mind? What if you saw something different? What if you saw something you'd like to see even more, right? So this week, I want you to realize, what do you observe? What do you see when you go through life? What are you choosing to see? And are they more negative or are they more positive? And realize when each one comes, right? In that self-chatter. That make sense? Mm -hmm. Any questions, guys? About me, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take you back to what I had asked you, which was no problem. Understand where you are and the process of how to make the changes. So I yeah, said there was three. Levels. Three. One is your recipe. The one, two, three. I know I need to put. Uh, you know, I want to cook something. I need to put a little bit of oregano. I need to put a little bit of thyme. I need to put right. I know my recipe and I know what I need to do. The only thing that can stand in my way is that I need to actually do the recipe. <laughs> well, know your recipe. Know your recipe. I know how to become less impatient. I know how to become a patient human. I just choose not to go about doing it. Number two is, it's fucking, yeah. You know, I want to become more patient. Oh, but it's foggy. I don't know how. I just don't know how. And I kind of know like maybe one or two parts of the resume. I'm not sure. Eh, let's go drink some water. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> We're just going to leave it for another day. Or number three is admitting that I really don't know. I don't know how to do this. Can you help me? And I'm willing to take the time to learn what you're going to teach me. And then I'm going to apply it. Because I have a willingness of knowingness. Does that make sense? Any other questions? The question I have, I have oui. a question for you. Did you ever see the movie, uh, What the Blip Do We Know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Je vu, um... En fait, j'essaie de penser à quelle année, mais ça fait un petit bout. Est-ce que je devrais le revoir? On devrait tous le voir. Oui? Tous le voir en salle, ça serait euh, quelque chose qui, euh, qui débloquerait bien du monde. Ben, je pense que c'est une bonne idée. On devrait faire ça puis, euh, puis faire un peu de popcorn. <rire> <rire> Est-ce qu'on a d'autres questions? Non? OK, guys. Bye, everybody online. Bye. Ciao.